Hello, I'm Nissanut, and I'm going to be playing Goblin's Quest 3. Not Goblin's 2 or Goblin's, because I've yet to actually finish those two. That's right, I finished the third one before actually finishing the other two. Which is good, which is a good thing there's no continuity between the three. Yes, so here's our hero, sleeping on the job. And there's a captain calling out something. As he escapes. Also, that aren't those clouds moving in the wrong direction? Oh, even the rats are escaping. Gosh. Beautiful singing. From the yeah, that. Yes. The little tight little seas are gonna wake him up, right? <laughs> of course. Gosh, that was so loud. Oh you Now I hear some singing in a language. Well at least I think it was singing. So yes, we start our adventure here on this boat. This flying boat. Well, it's supposed to be flying, but it doesn't appear to be flying anymore. No, oh, you know what? I was gonna say it, screw it, but uh, but I just did, didn't I? Yeah, it's very obvious why I got to put this hook. I must leave this ship with the barrel that is at the stern. Oh, thanks. I I couldn't figure that one out. But, okay, so the barrel here. So yeah, this, this, that's pretty much what the CD version means. Yeah, I now got talking instead of, um, what they normally have, which is all like, and so forth. Huh. <laughs> Take that, you, for some reason. So yeah, parachute. This ought to be easy, right? Lol, no. And... Game over. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Bet you thought there was a game over there. I mean, sure, this is this is a Sierra game, but it's not that kind of Sierra game. Now, if you're wondering why you put a hook there, well, let me demonstrate. So you may retrieve that, but unfortunately, I can't catch this umbrella by myself. I need help. Yeah, I was just about to explain that. But unfortunately, for some reason, the umbrella drops when he's not in contact with that. Makes sense. Oh yeah, now I see why I put off recording this game. I hate scrolling this way on the windowed mode. Hmm. I have to un unlock that. Why? You'll find out why. You'll meet this guy. And obviously, the best way to get him out is, well, I'll show you how the best way to get out this parrot. Oh, it's a parrot, honest. It says right there. His name is Chum. The he is a chump. locked him up because he was impossible. Impossible to understand. Yep, that wasn't irresponsible at all. I mean, I bet he didn't mind that at all. So what do you think about me hitting you like that? Chump offers to help if I get him out of there. Oh, so he didn't just swear a bunch at you, then. Or maybe that is what he did. Hey, a bag of stuff. Hey, 
that. Dang. The boy, the boy, the boy, the boy. Alright, so, good thing this isn't goblins, you know, the first one, otherwise that would, like, reduce my health. In fact, that's what I don't like about the first goblins game, because in an adventure game, yeah, you tend to experiment. It is not a good idea if experimenting punishes you. Or at least that's just my personal opinion. So anyway, you... Bla Blount? Is that how I say his name? Blount, wait there. Jump! Come along. Falling asleep already? Oh, sorry, are we keeping you up? Anyway, you go hold that weight. And out comes the umbrella. Take it, take it, take it! Yes! Now we've got the umbrella, we now just got another problem. How are we going to cut that rope? Well, see this tooth up here? Well, let's just do this way. Doesn't help, but... Visual gang. <laughs> and everyone loves a good old visual gag. Alright, see that there? Well, you saw the hand move, didn't you? This, of course, means I got to fling someone up there. Because physics. Well done, me. I got that. And now you can get down there. How did he get down there? Trapped him up there, aren't I? Oh no, no, now he's just figured out how to get down. By doing what you just saw him do there. You were paying attention, weren't you? Okay, this is gonna scroll across the screen. And I got to remember to disable cursor. Otherwise this will look stupid. I must find something to cut the rope that holds this barrel. I know. Wouldn't you rather burn the rope and save the day, though? Use it in the hole. There we go. Now take this absurdly sharp tooth and cut the rope. Not blunt. Sorry, umbrella saves the day. That looks like it's slowed down. Well. It's almost as if an umbrella wasn't made to do that kind of thing. Don't worry, he survived thanks to cartoonish immunity. And the umbrella is still usable. Isn't that nice? So now we've got a bunch of whatever these guys are. We've got to get past these to save this gal. Yes. In fact, we've got to have him meet the gal that he's trying to say. Huh. So, how do I do this? Um, that is a question. First, I've got to get through these guys. Through cunning, wit, and will this work? I have no reason to punch him down, for now. Okay. Tell me, my good man, why are you here? <sighs> to hit you with a hammer, that's why. <laughs> okay, has that given you a reason? I have no reason to punch him down, for now. Yeah, of course, because you could so punch him down with those mighty muscles of yours. Hot air, huh? So I guess he's not the only one getting on hot air. Okay, now look through this here tooth. Yep, you can see the girl, and now he can walk in clouds. 
Because... This poor girl is a prisoner! I must fight to free her! Yep. And she's obviously no use on... no good on her own, because... Yeah, how did she get in this situation? So yeah, now that he's seen who... what's at stake, will he now fight? Yes, he will. With a golf club, because golf club beats all. See? What did I tell you? And... Oh! Son, he realises there's a... like a threat! So, now to take this here for it. There's reason for the bread. It's a useful coming later. So yeah, you remember I can come over here, right? Well, let's talk to this... Uh, four ballas? No, don't pay attention to me! Ignore me! Okay, so... I've got Pepper. Hmm. With Pepper I can use on you. What did that achieve? Nothing. Yeah, that's not going to get me anywhere, is it? Use it on the Mac. Fine then, don't use it on Mac. Use it on PC. Yeah, it was obvious that one, wasn't it? Okay, fine, then, whatever. Um, pep now will you pepper him? Just to see what happens? No. Why would that work? How do I deal with that guy? Obviously, not like that. Hmm. But I remember some guy I need to do that to. I think it's on the other side, though. So, gotta get... Hey, you there! You look like a smart sort of fellow. Shake my hand! Like I told you, the golf club is the best weapon against anything. How do I beat this guy? Well, basically I need a shield, I stick a shield on that branch, and then he knocks himself out. Pretty simple, right? Well, it's simple as you've got a freaking... what I said there. But anyway, I need to deal with this guy by pouring breadcrumbs in there, I think. And to do that, I need to get his helmet. And to get rid of him, I need to do something. Um, gosh, what was it that I needed to do? Yeah, I get it. He's got no hands. But pockets, even. Can you bug him a bit? No, that's not good. You're no good. So, what are you going to do next? I think I need him to stop, distract someone. You, that's it. Yeah, that's it. I need to get him to stick his tongue out and then blount his all like. Yeah. Hey, punch. 
punky. The boy, the boy. The boy, the boy, the boy, the boy, the boy. Yeah, what was that for? Shake my hand. The boy, the boy. This guy just isn't having any of it, is he? The boy, the boy, the boy, the boy, the boy, the boy. Fine then. The boy, the boy. I get it, no! Fine then. The boy, the boy, the boy, the boy, the boy. What that? Well, that's a thought. Coinage! I distract him with money! Come on, run in. I mean, everyone wants money. So, show Mac some money. No, he just stares at that for like two hours. I, of course, get his helmet and my coin back. Because I can't go on without that coin. Seriously, it's an essential item. Okay. Um, now, I got crumbs. A useful, useful tool for this particular place. And I guess it's kind of foreshadowing because you gotta grind a bunch of stuff later. I don't really think that was foreshadowing, but whatever. Yes, take that! Digitus was unbearable and he died. The end. Grab him, shield. Come on, scroll to the left. And now just to dump some pepper on him. Like a sir. Let's see how this is going. Good thing for the stretchy necks. Now to MacGyver this billy club into a step. Real inventive, that. Of course it would work. You. Jump. Distract Punky. He's a real punk. And now he is dead. And completely underneath that boulder for some reason. Since the object stopped close to him, Forbalus got out of his hiding place. Oh, Forbalus! Winona ran after him. No Who the hell is Forbalus? No more Forbalus! Even Winona is gone! How do you know her name? I was alone, but I had the unpleasant sensation of being watched. Really? Nothing to do with the fact that you just meddled with that guy's plans and... I am King Bud. But who are you to interfere at the moment I was going to get the key of the maze from Winona? What's the key of the maze? Wow. That's some pretty special animation. And he is dead. Not a surprise. See? Game over again. Nah, not really. And yeah. Um, I could keep going on, but um well that's kinda of the whole point of these videos being a multi parts. So I shall end the video for now. Till next time, goodbye.